So a while ago, I made a tutorial about how to make a particle system in Pygame in under 10 minutes. Looking back on that tutorial now, I can see a lot of mistakes with that. One of which being that the tutorial was over 10 minutes, and the other one being that the particle system from that tutorial wasn't very good. So today, I'm going to be doing a remake and hopefully making a better version of that. So let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have this very basic Pygame script. When I run this, we just get an 800 by 600 window. Nothing more than that, and then we can just close the window. So let's start by making a class and calling it particle. And then we're going to initialize some variables. We're going to need quite a lot of variables to make this work. So we're going to say self, x, y, and we're going to do x underscore velocity and y underscore velocity. Then we're going to need a radius a color and a gravity scale. Now that we have our variables up here, we just need to initialize them. So I'll be right back. We've got all of the variables we defined up here. We can add in one more variable here, which will be self.lifetime is equal to 100. Okay, right, now that we've initialized everything, let's make the main function. We'll just call it draw, and this will take a self and a display. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do in here is say self.life time minus equals one. So every second that this particle is alive, we want to take one away from its lifetime. Okay, so before we continue, we should probably add one more variable up here, and that's self.gravity. And we're just going to set this equal to Then what we're going to do is we're going to say self.gravity minus equals self.gravity underscore scale. And I'll explain what this does in a minute. Okay, now we need to actually set the location of our particle. So for that, we're just going to do self.x plus equals self.x underscore velocity and self.y plus equals self dot y underscore velocity multiplied by our gravity, multiplied by gravity. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to say display dot blit. And now we want to, sorry, not display dot blit. We want to say rather pi game dot draw dot circle. Because we want our particles to be circular in this example. And we're going to draw it to the display. We will draw them with our color. So self.color. And then we will draw it at the self.x and self.y of our particle. We'll draw it with a self with self.radius. Okay, and that it pretty much does it for our particle class. So now I'm going to just quickly walk through all of this to explain what it does. So basically what, what we're doing here by saying self.gravity minus equals self.gravity scale is we're going to set gravity scale to something like 1. Okay, so then we're going to have our gravity is at 1. So then we're going to say self.gravity minus equals gravi self.gravity scale. So gravity will now be 0. So our self.y will, will, not, will not be affected. Then next frame we're going to we're going to set gravity to minus 1. So then our self.y will be subtracted 1. Will be subtracted 1. Will be subtracted 1 multiplied by whatever we set our y velocity to. And you can kind of see where this is going. So the faster, the more the particles fall, the faster they will go. And this actually creates a nice cool effect. But if we come up here and we set something, and we set gravity to something like 5, What's going to happen is that before our particles start falling, they're going to jump up. And this creates a very cool effect. So let's go and set that up. So we're going to need a list to keep track of all our particles. So we'll just call it particles is equal to a blank list. And then down here, we're going to say we, we're going to. So basically, to get our particles in the scene, we're going to make it so that whenever we click, we're going to spawn particles at that location. So for that, we need to get our mouse x and y. So for that, we do mouse underscore x, mouse underscore y is equal to pygame.mouse.get underscore pause. 
And basically what this does is it just gets the X and Y location of the mouse every second. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come down here and... Sorry, we're going to want to come up here and we're going to say if to our event loop and we're going to say if event dot type is equal equal to pygame dot mouse button down. So if we press the mouse button down, then what we're going to do is we're going to say particles to our list dot append. We're going to append a particle and this is where we need to put in all of our variables. So x will just be the mouse underscore x. Y is just going to be mouse underscore Y. And now that I think about it, let's just move this up to the top. Okay, the next thing that we're going to want is uh, X and Y velocity. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and import the random module. And then just say a random dot rand range between negative 5 and 5 for the x velocity random dot rand range between between 0 no sorry between minus 1 and 2 then we will then for the radius we'll just do 4 for the color We'll do white. And for the gravity scale, we'll do one. All right, now that we've appended a particle to the list, we need to actually handle for drawing these particles. So for that, we'll just come out of there and we'll say for particle underscore in particles, particle underscore dot draw at to the display. And now before we can run this, we just need to say up here display dot fill and I'll just do black. And then at the bottom I'll just do pygame dot display dot update. Cool, and this should now work. So we have our window here and when I click we ah spelling errors and now it should sorry and then just here we need to put in self of gravity all right so i've just found a couple errors with our code this needs to be between negative two and zero and then we also need to append more than one particle so i'm just going to say four i in range and then we'll just pen 10 for now and then we'll just put this line in the for loop all right so there's one more thing we need to do and that's come up here and we needed to find a clock we'll just say pygame dot clock dot clock and then down here we'll just say clock dot tick 60 fps and this is meant to be pygame.time.clock. Okay, so now as you can see, the particle system works. The particles jump up into the sky and when they, and then they start falling down. One issue I see here is that we're not actually getting rid of these particles once they, once their lifetime has gone to zero. So we just say if particle underscore dot life time is greater than zero then we'll do this otherwise we shall just say particles dot pop particles dot index particle underscore so basically what this does is it just finds the particle with a lifetime which is less than zero and removes it from the list oops that's just got to be particles and as you can see now, this particle system completely works. The particles will jump up and then they will fall down. But as um, I want to prove to you that this is very flexible. So let's make some adjustments. First of all, let's set this lifetime to random dot rand range.
between 25 and 75. So now the particles will randomly start disappearing. So, oops, that's a little too long. <laughs> Let's just go between 5 and 20. As you can see now, the particles will go away much quicker. And if we make our gravity value a bit higher, you'll see our particles will jump up more. And then let's just make the this a little longer. As you can see, the particles will now jump up more before falling down. And we can also have a lot more particles. So let's just make this 50. Oops. You can see now. The, but now we're running into an error that the particles look a little too uniform. So to fix that up, we shall just we so, so to fix that up, we will basically just randomize these variables. So we'll say self dot gravity is equal to random dot rand range between five and ten, and then the self dot gravity scale we'll just multiply by a random dot rand range between. 1 and 2. So as you can see now, the, the particle system is looking a lot more, is looking a lot nicer. However, it is still kind of forming out to be a square. So we, what we'll do here is we'll just make this a uh, larger range. As you can see now, the particle system is looking a lot more random. It is very nice, we can handle a lot at one time without slowing down. And yeah, so hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more content like this. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.